Hello everybody. Uh, you're all very welcome back to my uh, humble little channel. It's been a while since I've been on here. I haven't shot a video for ages. And um, this is just going to be a bit of a haul and also a show and tell on my new hairdo. And a basic update for anybody that's interested. So I'll start with the haul. And the first thing I'll show is new nails. Yeah, I have nothing on my nails. That is because they are being prepped for this hair wash. Yes, uh, I went shopping. I got a few bits. Uh, mostly from a brand called Catrice, with one exception. This nail polish, which is a part of their nude collection, it's the ultimate nude. The color is number 80. Oh, Chance Lise. I like the look of it. It's a pinky nude. I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Oh, I mean, it might even be bold. I'm just put a bit on one finger and see what I think of it. So I'm only just opening it now. Oh, the dog is barking in the sitting room. I have my own fault. He's up on the chair, looking out the window. Anything that goes by, anything that moves, and my little fluff bag is barking and abusing it. That's it on. Fairly noticeable. I'm happy with that. When that dries, I'll put a second coat. Hopefully, the it's very, very, it's not opaque at all, but then what do you expect for a couple of euro? Ah, I'm looking for too much, too much. Next thing I purchased from Catrice, these are all so far Catrice products, is a lip liner. I wanted a nude lip liner on the pinky side of nude. I normally use East End Snow, not well, East End Snow by Rimmel when I'm using any of my MAC for the pinky nude lipsticks. Today I'm wearing this lip liner, which is called... It's by Catrice again, it's about two euros. Uh, 030 Lost in the Rosewood. That's a very small swatch of it. I'll get up as close as I can. The camera will probably blur out me, just to give you an idea. It's a, again, a pinky nude. Um, I like the color of it. I think it'll go with every nude lipstick I have in my collection. Rocky, please be quiet, love. Dog. It's been so bold barking in there. The next product I got was a replacement product as my old one has. It is a um, finishing powder. It's called the Skin Finish Compact Powder, again by Catrice. I think it's a couple of euro. That's it. Normally I get the translucent one, but with the winter coming in and I'm like Casper's ghost, I decided to go for one with a slight bit of color. Uh, it's 020 Natural Beige. This is what it looks like in the pan. And when you swatch it, it's very, very creamy texture to it. Uh, it's super vendable. Uh, I have the translucent as well. I use that on clients when I'm doing that work. And that's it on the back of the hand. You won't be able to see the color, but it just glides on so easily. When you put this over your makeup, hands, it gives it phenomenal staying power. I find my makeup doesn't move. I put it on in the morning. My makeup is on me all day. I don't do touch-ups. I'm just far too lazy for that. And when I'm working, I'm far too busy for that. And I have to see that dog. I'm going to win that. And I'm going, I'm going to have to wrap me up. Pause, bye. Mommy's going to give out. Rocky, be quiet, please. I'm, I'm busy. So bold. Next thing I got, movement eye products. It is an eyeshadow. I thought it was a nice color. It's called Gold Charlie Brown. Again, it's by Catrice. I think it was a yellow. Uh, 080 Gold Charlie Brown. That's the color. It's a brownie top color. Actually, this and it's absolutely phenomenal. It's in in my crease of the hand. For me, it comes off a kind of a ready brown. Now I barely swatched that. I barely swatched it. One little swipe, and you get good color, good pigmentation. Very surprised for the price of this product. And the final eye product is an eyebrow pencil. This is what it looks like. It's in the 030. Is the color? I'm um, just looking to see what the name is. <laughs> brow, brow eyed peas. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, it's got a spoolie on one end. It's got the color on the other end. And I actually, when I bought this, I got two of them. I got one for me and one for my sister. And there's a swatch of it. It's kind of a cool tone of brown. It's on my sparse little eyebrows at the moment. And the final thing I have to show you is a mascara. Now, I don't know yet if I like this. I will say this is on me at the moment. 
So I don't know how much volume, if any, is given. <laughs> it's scandalized by Rimmel. Now, Rimmel is a brand of mascara I don't normally go for. I did try out one of theirs. I think it was called the Sexy Curves, and it burnt the eyes down. This one, I applied it earlier on after I got it. And um, so far, no burn. And it gave me a little bit of volume. Um, the brush is absolutely humongous. Yeah, this thing reminds me of the false lash, lash effect from um, Max Factor. Only it's less than half the price. And um, yes, it loves me a good bargain. So that's my little mini haul video. Um, so if you want, me, I can post reviews from these after I've used them for a while. And maybe I will, maybe I won't. I haven't been making very many videos lately. Okay, moving on to the next topic, which is hair. Yes, I did. I got, went and got the hair done. I had, it was a dark brown, which uh, was far too dark for me, and I went this mad copper colour, which I did like, but it started to wash up really, really badly. Then, of course, over the last couple of months, I haven't been well. I uh, have been quite unwell, to be honest with you. I've had very bad joint pain with swelling of my joints, um, mainly my hands, my wrists, my ankles my toes, my feet, spreading up to my knees and into my lower hips and back. And I was just thinking to myself, you lose seven and a half stone in weight and you end up with um, psoriatic arthritis, which is what my consultant has diagnosed me with. And I just think to myself, oh my gosh, is that my reward for this and all that weight? Why did I bother? But then it was pointed out to me that I'd be in a far worse condition if I hadn't lost the weight and still had the, ar the arthritis. So it's, I never heard of it until I was told I had it. Um, apparently, it goes with the skin condition known as psoriasis. And as you see, I started treatment a couple of weeks of treatment in. And the psoriasis on my arms is so much better than it was, and the psoriasis on my legs is so much better than it was. And I, it'll be a while before I know what way the treatment is going. I know that my pain levels were, I was really in a bad way. Um, and thanks to some steroid injections and now some uh, drug therapy, I'm, my joints are feeling better. Than they were. I'm a bit more mobile than I was. I can walk now without a limp, though I still have discomfort. I'm not in out and out agony. I was in absolute giblets trying to walk. I dreaded having to get up off the chair or even out of bed. And sometimes at night I'd roll over in the bed, and whatever way I'd move, because all my joints were sore, it'd wake you up. The pain would pop out, it'd lift you out. But these days I'm sleeping a bit better than I was. Um, you know, generally trying to look after myself to, to, for these drugs to kick in and they come with some nasty side effects. Uh, I didn't realise what I was being treated, what I would be treated with and when I was told I thought to myself, it's weird. It's, however, it's a drug used commonly in combination with other drugs to treat cancer. And what they discovered when they were using this as part of chemotherapy, it's a chemotherapy drug called methotrexate, what they discovered was that people being treated for cancer who were being treated with this drug in combination, and the psoriasis went, disappeared, adios, biocondias, left them. So the doctors, I'm told, decided to use it in lower doses to treat people with psoriatic, with psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. So I'm on a low dose of this drug. Um, the first week I was grand. This week I haven't been well for the last three days with my stomach. It's been absolutely in a hula hoop. Uh, and next week I'm not really looking forward to it because I have to go take the dose I'm on times half on top of that. They're up in the dose. So we'll see how the other stomach reacts to that. It might have just been a bad week. Keep my fingers crossed and keeping my everything crossed. It was just, just a bad week this week, maybe. I just had a little stomach bug or something, I'm hoping that's all it was and that it wasn't the drugs, but I won't know until I go up the dose next week. I mean, a lot of side effects with this thing, stomach being one of them, I'm told, and I'm also reliably informed that some patients on it have lost some hair. Mm. <laughs> I'm just looking at my hair, 
you think in pain? Well, I, to be honest with you, I could live with being bald. I'd rather be bald than in pain. And besides, Dolly Parker can look super gorgeous in all those beautiful wigs. I mean, if my hair does decide to say adios, then I'd, hair extensions, no wig. There you go. I'd rather be pain free, to be honest with you, and be able to walk and live a normal life and not worry. Uh, at the moment, I did put a colour in. Well, I didn't put a colour in, I got a colour in. And before I got a colour in, I actually got advice from the medical uh, professionals. And the advice I was given with the medication I'm on was that, well, they don't recommend you colour your hair at all. Not taking any sort of, uh, any sort of angels. They, they say it's uh, not good. Well, I mean, whatever they're putting into me is probably putting enough stress on the old body without adding the extra stress of permanent colour. But I said, I do it once. Permanent colour. I went into the hairdresser, uh, as per advice I was given, and I asked him to dye my ends the same colour as my roots, which were at oh, about an inch. And um, he matched it up. And so when I go to recolor my hair again, I will just be using um, maybe a washing washer as opposed to anything with peroxide or ammonia in it. And there are certain ones, I mean, there's one you can get in the drugstore, which is uh, Cleo's Nice and Easy Loving Care, a six to eight shampoo one. And I'm reliably told by a nurse that it, um, you can, uh, no harm. I was for because there's nothing in it, it just washes in your hair and washes out. In my case, those. So, we'll see. I am worried about my hair, but sure. That's life. Just, just have to roll the hard six. And that's it now. That's my haul video and a vlog and an update, just in case anybody was wondering where I've been for the last number of weeks. Now you all know. Uh, what's the expression? Not good, buggered, screwed, sick. Yeah, and when you're just not feeling the near west, you just don't feel like going on and, and putting makeup on and doing your hair and all that good stuff. And today I was in the hospital for vaccination, so um, because of the medication I'm on, they were giving me a vaccination for hepatitis A and B. And uh, yeah, that's my blog, that's my latest news. Um, I hope you're all keeping well. And um, I've been watching videos on here as and when I can, commenting as and when I can, and just say hello to all my friends on here. And mind yourselves, and remember your health is the number one thing, guys, because if you lose that, if it, or if it goes on you, or you're not well, it really screws you up. Anyway, so I hope you're having a lovely evening. Mind yourselves, God bless, eat well, I'll get